What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So we have a new update rolling out for OnePlus 8 series. Also the same update is being rolled out for OnePlus 9R2. So in this video let's quickly take a look what all changes OnePlus have done with this latest update for OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time let's get started. Here we have our OnePlus 8 which is running on the latest build of Oxygen OS based on 12.1 which still comes with 5th May 2022 security patch. If you talk about the version previously version was C.20 and now the version have been upgraded to C.21. Previously I wasn't able to do a complete review but for this build I'll come up with the in-depth review of this particular build in which I'll cover almost everything like camera performance, charging speed, gaming and other stuff. And most users are yet to receive this update so if you guys haven't received the update you can download the files from the description below and try to perform a local upgrade. But most users are also facing issues with locally updating the device so in that case we don't have any other option you just have to wait for the OT update. And guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video first let's take a look at the benchmark results and we'll compare it with the previous build so with this latest build our oneplus 8 has scored 905 with single core and 3046 with multi-core. On the previous build, scores were almost similar, not much of difference to be seen with Geekbench application. Though with the Android 2 benchmark application, we did notice a bit of improvements, wherein this latest build have scored 6,56,363. On the previous build, scores were 6,5,752. And as always, we did CPU throttling tests. Here also we did notice a bit of improvements, on the previous build which was C.20 on that CPU throttled max up to 78% but here CPU have throttled up to 82%. Update size over C.20 was a bit huge. It was approximate 1.2 GB but if you take a look at the change logs here change logs are related to system and camera application and everything is related to fixes. No new add-ons have been done. With the first thing they say they have improved the overall stability of the device that we'll get to know once we start using the device so wait for my complete review in which i'll update you guys about the stability part after that they have fixed some abnormal issues related to the lock screen wherein so in some scenarios users might have reported that lock screen doesn't get turned off but here on this build i did not find any kind of issues related to that after a few seconds device screen do get turns off then the next fix is related to quick launch services so if you guys aren't aware about quick launch so that can be found in the settings page just search for quick launch and for this you need to set in fingerprint unlock to use this service so using quick launch services you can access to five applications directly while unlocking your device using fingerprint unlock oneplus says they have fixed some gesture issues while using these services so towards the right hand side you can see that video was recorded on previous version which was c.20 on that also i never had any kind of gestures issue while using this service for me it was working fine on the previous build and this build also and at last they have also fixed the issue in which camera used to crash whenever they used to turn on the ultra steady mode towards the right hand side that's a video which i recorded on the previous build and once again i never had such issues on that build too though these bugs are not encountered by every user but some users might have reported this issue depending on their feedback oneplus is continuously working on the fixes so guys these were the changes what oneplus have done with this latest update of oxygen os 12.1 version c.21 i'll be soon posting a complete review so stay tuned for that and also make sure to let me know in the comment section below what all bugs you have been facing on oxygen os 12.1 for oneplus 8 series and oneplus 9r so guys as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day